Welcome to the Thursday, February 25th, 2016 edition of Werner Barry's Market Video, sponsored by Eastern Quality Foods. In today's video, we look at demand in the chicken complex. Then later, a January dip in Gulf shrimp landings meets sluggish buying interest. But first, the total U.S. restaurant count is down slightly from year-ago levels. Here with the story is your host, Jocelyn Garcia Rojas. The total U.S. restaurant count decreased slightly from a year ago. According to the latest data of U.S. commercial restaurant locations compiled by the NPD Group, a 2% decline in independent restaurant units was the sole contributor to the total decline, which includes restaurants open as of September 2015. Conversely, chain restaurant units increased by 1% from a year ago. The NPD Group also found that U.S. restaurants' visits in the year ending December 2015 nearly returned to pre-recession levels. Visits to quick service restaurants, which represent 79% of total industry traffic, were up by 1%, while full service restaurant traffic declined. For more on NPD's findings and other news from the center of the plate, please visit foodmarket.com. Next up, here's account manager Megan Meek looking at demand in the chicken complex. February is very rarely a good month for chicken movement. Retail and food service buyers tend to focus their features elsewhere on either red meat or seafood items. This is exactly what we're seeing right now, and more specifically, what we're not seeing in terms of chicken breast meat demand. If you look at the cold storage inventories, holdings of breast meat continue to rise. In January, there were over 181 million pounds in cold storage warehouses at month's end. Now, if demand was strong and buyers' needs were active, there's a likely chance that market values would have found some support and and cold storage holdings would have either maintained their December levels or depleted some. That isn't what we observe though. It is, however, what we're currently watching take shape in the dark meat complex. For the fourth straight report, leg quarters holdings have decreased month to month. In January, there were just over 128.5 million pounds of leg quarters in cold storage. That's about 8.2% less than in December and 21.6% or 35 million pounds less than in September. Clearly, dark meat demand is improving, while at the same time, white meat, excluding tenders, is struggling to stabilize. Now, we're not by any means suggesting that leg quarters have leaped ahead of breast meat as the new fan favorite, but with what's taking place, it's certainly stirring up the conversation. Thanks, Megan. Wrapping up today is a look at January dip in Gulf Trim Landings, which was met with a sluggish buying interest. Here's Seafood News Editor Michael Remsink with the details. Landings from the Gulf of Mexico's five major producing states reached 3.25 million pounds for the month of January. The figure was short from January 2015 catches by less than 1%. Louisiana was the top supplier for the month with its catch reported at 1.63 million pounds, which was down 8% compared to January 2015. The Gulf shrimp fishing season closes in December, which generally results in sharply lower landings compared to December volumes. However, the region's landings were down 16% from the five-year average for the month. This was also the case for much of 2015, as landings consistently fell short of its historical average. But January's dip in landings were met with a slowdown in buying activity since the start of the year, with Underbury's domestic PUD prices unchanged in the last three weeks. Head over to SeafoodNews.com for the full shrimp landing story and check out the Seafood tab in Comtel for additional shrimp market analysis and commentary. Thanks, Michael. That concludes today's show. Thanks for watching and have a great day. This broadcast is sponsored by Eastern Quality Foods, wholesalers of poultry, beef, pork, and seafood since 1954. Visit them online at easternqualityfoods.com.